3.1 has been interesting to many of us to, say, to state it uh, easily. Uh, I, I am sure I'm not the only person thankful for uh, uh, Nive and the, 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 the whole crew to, to, to be making this explanation. So thank you very much. Please welcome uh, them. So now we start the presentation. The, the first part is mine. I explain about GNU PG 2.1, and the major part is the, uh, our demonstration uh, to explain the interaction between uh, multiple binaries of GNU PG. Well, I am Debian developer since 2005, and uh, I joined GNU PG development in 2011. So, um, for me, GPG is important to protect my own privacy, and Debian is also very important for me to protect my own computing. So, I'm proud to be here to talk about GPG. And uh, I'd like to say thank you for coming, joining this, my talk, our talk. And I'd, I'd like to say thank you to organizers uh, so that I can now have opportunity to play the demonstration together with my family and Adobe. Yes. So let's start. So here is the contents. The, uh, there is a misunderstanding that GPG 2.1 is a beta software. No, it's not. It's for everyone. And uh, everyone relies on GNU PG somehow. And uh, it is very important. And then I explain uh, the relationship between Debian and GNU PG. And uh, I will explain the three different branches of GNU PG. And uh, I briefly explain what's new in 2.1. And the uh, most important thing is our demonstration, the interaction between GPG executables. And, uh, Uh, GPG 2.1 is not beta, beta software. Well, it is somehow new, but it is more than two years ago uh, when GPG 2.1.0 was released. And uh, unfortunately, many people misunderstand it's beta, or uh, 2.1 is too new. And uh, some, uh, some people, avoid using GPG 2.1. So basically the today my message is that uh, GPG 2.1 is for everyone. And uh, I have friend GPG, GNU PG has been evolved. And uh, ELO and uh, GPG evolves just like Debian evolved. Um, evolves, yes, and uh, and GPG 2.1 is stable enough, and uh, but uh, I'm not sure that uh, when I visited here, GPG 2.1.23 has been released by Vanakov, so I'm not sure that how 2.1.23 is stable. But um, I think that this year GPG 2.2 will be available. <coughs> yes, it's soonish. <coughs> so 
I need to explain that, uh, how it is important. Um, my point is that GNU PG, everyone somehow relies on GNU PG, directly or uh, indirectly. Because uh, many servers are running GNU Linux, and uh, in GNU Linux distro, we have an uh, integrity check by GNU PG. And uh, Debian, when Debian developer upload packages, it, it, it is signed and it is uh, authenticated by GNU PG. So, and, uh, uh, in this slide, I'd like to say congratulations, Debian, the release, new release stretch. And, uh, and uh, now we have GPG as 2.1 as a default. And actually, during the development of the storage release, uh, we have uh, many, many struggles for the migration. So I say thank you, Debian, for the migration of GPG 2.1. And uh, while Debian community is heavy user of GNU PG, the, it is also important from our development of GNU PG. Debian is very important for GNU PG too. Uh, many, uh, we have, uh, currently we have six GNU PG developers, and, uh, including me. Uh, and, uh, we have, we use Debian as an infrastructure. And I also use uh, Debian for my own development. And uh, because of Debian, GNU PG migration to 2.1 has been going well. Yes, especially the, I'd, like, I'd like to say thank you to Debian GNU PG maintenance. DKG and Eric, and all Debian developers, because someone had problem using GPG 2.1 during the, this release cycle. Thank you. So now, package GNU PG is GPG 2.1, and uh, when you type GPG, it means that GPG 2.1. And uh, GPG 1.4 is gone, but still it is available as GNU PG 1 package. The command is available at GPG 1. So one character, one is needed. Yes. So you can install both packages, GNU PG and GNU PG1 in storage. Uh, and now in upstream, we have three different branches. GPG 1.4, we say classic, and uh, GPG 2.0, stable, and GPG 2.1, modern. And uh, in GPG 1.4, uh, we only had single binary. And uh, its feature is that old format, PGP2 format, they are supported. And during 1.4 and 2.1, uh, uh, we have a stable version, 2.0, uh, which compose of executor executable and libraries. And in GPG 2.0, um, GPG agent had very limited functionality. It is just a, it is just passphrase cache agent, it was. And uh, this end of year, 2017, December 31, uh, 
the support will be finished. So currently, GPG 2.1 is uh, uh, oh, I uh, type it there. The, the <laughs> uh, uh, we have a uh, multiple executable and libraries. And uh, he, this is a very important point that your private key is under control of the program named GPG agent. And uh, it's like, it is like, it is per user daemon. And uh, it is in stretch, it is uh, under the control of system D. So when you log in, uh, it is automatically uh, invoked, yes. And uh, we have a program named Directly Manager, and it was an uh, external program in the day of GPG 2.0, but now it is uh, included as a GNUPG package. So the, this slide I explained uh, what's new in 2.1. We have new features, uh, ECC support or TOFU, or uh, experimental feature like web key discovery and a G13 tool for disk, encry uh, disk encryption. But uh, usually people don't need to use such a new features. I will explain in next to my next my talk. Next of my talk, I will explain about ECC. And uh, in this presentation, I only explain major changes of uh, architectural change of GPG so that uh, when you encounter some issue, uh, you know the structure of the GPG. So, uh, the public key format has been changed, and the private key format has been changed in 2.1. So, and uh, now we explain about the architectural change. I mean, GPG agent does private key operations, and directory manager is now part of you know, BG. And uh, this is uh, the explanation about GPG 1.4. It is only single binary. The user interrupts GPG, and GPG interrupts key servers, <coughs> and uh, possibly open PGP card or a GNUF token, the security token. That's the figure. And, uh, it has been changed to this figure in 2.1. Uh, many functionalities are factored out to the library. Libassuan, Lib, uh, KSPA stands for Casper, and LibGcrypt and G GPG error and new P thread library. That's a, a small group to P thread. And now we have a four or five, uh, five executable, directory manager, GPG, GPG agent, and SC demo, and P entry. So, the major part of this presentation is that uh, how I, I will explain how these programs interact each other. So please welcome my family and Adrian. Adrian is my friend uh, from Germany because uh, GPG is basically a German project, and they are, yeah, uh, it is very popular in German. So, uh, we are GNU PG proper. He is user. And uh, 
Uh, you mean my daughter uh, plays as a Yes, <laughs> she is GPG, and you know the like like my family, GPG agent is most important. <laughs> and uh, behind the scene, we have uh, another director manager. Yes, she uh, he handles uh, public key retriever. Yes. So I explain uh, three, three different operations. Actually, the, I, in this figure, uh, we have a SC demo, which is me. But uh, it is only, you know, that usually in family, the father doesn't do much work, but just read manga or something. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I specifically work for token or security token or security smart card support. In this demonstration, we don't use token, so I just explain. Yes. So the first operation is retrieval of public key. So this is the figure of the, in, in, the interaction. So Adrian uh, user command type typing command uh, gpg hyphen hyphen receive key some some fingerprint. Yes. So so gpg please receive key. Yes, say yes. yes. <laughs> you see that we have a uh, inter process communication. <laughs> yes. And uh, he retrieved the key from key server. That's a public key. Thank you. And uh, Adrian get a public key. I have yes. And the next thing is uh, verify the signature. Suppose that this is a signature, and the user want to verify this signature. This is the figure, and uh, and signature verification can be done by only GPG. Because GPG handles public, GPG controls the public key, while GPG agent controls private key. Yes. So let's do. GPG, please verify signature. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, the last part is the most complex thing, uh, generating digital signature. It's somehow complicated because the, ah, sorry, and because uh, we, have, we have another program, GPG agent and uh, this represents pin entry. <laughs> yes. So it's somehow complicated, but let's do that. Hiroshi <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hiroshi <laughs> 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 So. Uh, GPG, please sign the message. Document. <laughs> she, she, she keeps. <laughs> uh, and, uh, 
and the command go to the GPG to GPG agent. And the GPG agent has a private key, but uh, she found that it is, it is locked by passphrase. So uh, she asked pin entry to ask uh, user, user's passphrase. So P entry goes to user. <laughs> What's your passphrase? The passphrase is open sesame. And the P entry receive the passphrase and uh, give the passphrase to GPG agent. Then now the private key is enabled. Then uh, she can sign. I make she can make, generate digital signature uh, on behalf of Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> then the signature goes through the, goes through the GPG front end. So that's the digital signature generation. That's the explanation of the how GPG 2.1 works. So to summarize, the everyone somehow relies on GPG, so it is better to have a knowledge how it works. And the GPG 2.1 is not better, it's for everyone. Now we, in Debian, we have a GNU PG package, and it is 2.1. And uh, we have a multiple software component, GPG front-end, played by my daughter Ayumi, and the GPG agent, played by my wife Hitoe, and directory manager, played by my son, Hiroshi and uh, SCDEM, which don't need to work. <laughs> Only need to work when user use token or uh, smart card. So my message is that my point is that GPG evolve and keep evolving, just like Debian, and uh, hopefully. So do my children. <laughs> Thank you. So, let me add this one, uh, this slide. Currently, our project, Guna PG, is running a fundraising rally. Please have a visit. We have a very good uh, movies by my friend Neil. And uh, the, it is interview to the real GPG users. There are many videos, so please have, have a look. Uh, please watch the videos. OK, so thank you very much. Uh, in a few minutes, we will continue again uh, with Nive uh, talking about uh, how to use uh, with uh, elliptic curves. So well, uh, we have some minutes to shuffle uh, yeah. whatever is needed for video or for you to uh, move around. And We'll be soon back. And uh, lastly, I have a question to you. Which is all the Debian or Gnu PG? You know, actually, it is Debian. <laughs> Thank you.